Wow. This video, I just want to share with you some of the, the most exciting moth species I found back in July. Some of these I haven't filmed very much for this video just because I have them in previous videos, but I still have to share them with you because they're really cool. Have a look at these beautiful animals. See this crazy thing? I know it looks like bird poop, but uh, this is literally called the beautiful wood nymph. And yeah, it looks like bird poop. Why, you might ask? Well, there's not a whole lot of things to like to eat bird poop. There are ants that specialize on it, though. This is uh, an azalea sphinx moth. Been finding a few of these tonight. Really cool looking. Look at this beautiful thing. This is a Virginia creeper sphinx. I've been finding a lot of sphinx moths the past two weeks, and this might be my favorite one. What a beautiful moth, and it's actually it's letting me film it right now. How cool. Hey, is this a, a carpenter worm moth? It is, isn't it? Awesome. Well, that's a new one for me. That's pretty cool. It's big, too. I've been finding a ton of these isle moths tonight. This is Automeris fabricius, and it's in the Saturnidae family, which includes, you know, Prometheus, the, the Polyphemas, of course, these isle moths, and pretty much all of the coolest and biggest moths of Pennsylvania are the Saturnids. Now there's a few yellow moth species in my area. There's the, the rosy maple, there's the ever impressive imperial moth, and of course this one, the isle moth. Obviously this bright yellow is, is beautiful to look at, but these have a, a secret which happens to be my favorite feature of this, this species. Have a look at those awesome eye spots. Beautiful, isn't it? Obviously, these eye spots are made to confuse and distract predators. You know, they see this nice yellow morsel of food and they come up to gobble it down and then in a the blink of an eye, no pun intended, there's these two giant eyes staring back at the predator. Which of course confuses the predator into thinking, is this an owl or something? And it takes a step back, giving the moth just enough time to flee danger and live to fly another night. I seem to just be finding males tonight. You can easily tell it's a male because males have these large feathery antenna to pick up the pheromones emitted by females. Incredibly, some moths can actually detect female pheromones up to seven miles away. Now there was this one night not very long ago where I caught a female polyphema. And while I had her, there were just males honing in on her from all directions high up in the sky. There was not a breeze in the air, yet these males were coming in great numbers to find this female and mate with her. It was a really cool night. Needless to say, we had eggs in the morning. Check this out. This is a tulip tree silk moth, Calisamia angulifera. And just like the Io moths that I've been filming all night, this is part of the Saturnidae family, which includes pretty much all of the biggest, most beautiful moths in Pennsylvania. How cool. This is a male. You can tell again by those massive feather-like antenna and I'm really excited. I would love to find a female. Look at the size of this thing on my hand. Again, you know, these Saturnidae moths just show you that moths don't have to be these boring, bland, drab creatures. Just look at the colors on these things. Beautiful. And look at the size of it. Look at that giant fuzzy abdomen. And <laughs> this is like a flying teddy bear. I am thrilled. Yeah, I don't know anything about this moth species. I do know it's called a spotted Apatolodes, but that's all I really know. They remind me of sphinx moths or even the pelvis moths. I mean, look at the weird wing formation, right? 
Anyhow, pretty cool looking. This is the Green Marvel, and I really wanted to include it in this video. Unfortunately, turns out I didn't film it, you know, when I found it, but I did get off a few photos. I'm always a fan of either green, red, or blue insects, and any kind of moth or butterfly I find with green on it is definitely a win for me. Wow, right? I mean, talk about an incredible variety and assortment of these magnificent animals. You know, I find moths to be a highly underrated group of animals, and if you just give them the chance, they might look drab or boring at first, but on closer inspection, you'll see that these things are actually really beautiful and have some really, really unique and interesting characteristics. If you like this video, I've got tons of other nature and wildlife videos, most of which you can find in your own backyard. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and click the bell icon. You have to hit all and it'll alert you to any time one of my new videos comes out, which is pretty much weekly. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.